Good morning everyone, welcome back to yet another Mod Monday. Today we're going to be taking a look at Agecraft. Now this mod is currently in a pre-alpha stage, which is a term I don't usually hear for a mod. But it's already got a few interesting items and we're going to take a look at those. So, first off, it on top of adding a new metal, which is currently not implemented, but will be in the future, that adds seven new weapons and shields. And not only does it add seven new weapons, it adds new handles for weapons, too. We'll get to that in a moment. But first off, we're going to take a look at the weapons. Now you have short swords, which are fairly easy to make. They're kind of like a dagger almost. You know, very small, low damage, simple things. Then you have your normal Minecraft sword, which I guess would count as a normal sword. Then there's this long sword, which kind of looks like a rapier to me. Then you have the Great Blades. For some reason this is blazing. Anyway, Great Blades, they're a little bit girthier. You can defend with all these weapons too. And there's Tridents. And Spears. Scythes and battle axes. Then you have your shields, which I'm pretty sure you can't attack with them, but you can defend. And how does that actually look when defending? Uh, it looks a little bit silly, honestly. I would think, I would say that there needs to be like a added armor slot with this mod so you can equip a shield. Because holding your shield like this, I don't think you're actually going to stop anything normally. <laughs> anyway. On top of the different weapons, there's also two new sets of armor. There is archer armor, which is made of cloth in the standard armor fashion. Then there is... The dragon armor, which is made out of dragon ingots, which you currently cannot get. Like I said, those will be implemented in the future. Like I said, this is a pre-alpha for a mod. There are several plans to expand upon this mod as well. Um, right now, there is actually a couple decorative blocks. There's this dark stone that I've put all the items on which you get by first crafting dark cobblestone which requires eight cobblestone and a dragon ingot you get eight dark cobblestone for the recipe then you can smelt this and it becomes dark stone and you can also craft stairs and slabs out of dark stone too then there are hay bales which is made by well, using nine wheat like you would an iron block or a gold block. Let's get rid of all this wooden stuff. Okie dokie. I did see on the forum post that it mentioned something about crowns. I haven't actually seen those in here, so I don't think they're implemented yet, but will be in an upcoming update. So, what about the different handles? Well, there are bone handles and blaze rod handles that you can make all the weapons out of as well. To make a bone or blaze rod weapon, just simply replace the sticks in the recipe with bone or blaze rods. And it goes for every single one of the weapons too. And I set up a little thing here, 
trying to pop zombies out from the ground to attack, but it kind of isn't working. <laughs> so, I need to really learn these new mechanics. I've not done 1.5 very much. So we're just going to grab a stack of zombie eggs and switch it over to midnight so that they're not burning up. Now, with the blazing weapons, you have a chance of igniting your enemies. It's not every time. It's actually a kind of low chance because if it was every time, it'd be a little bit overpowered. There we go. So it's kind of like a random fire aspect applied to your weapon. Get rid of all you guys. Alright, so the bone weapons actually have a knockback on them. And that applies every time. It's not a huge knockback, but it works. I think I spawned too many zombies. There we go. So that is basically the gist of the mod so far. Not very much content quite yet. Mostly a lot of new weapons, which all look very cool at least. And I could see myself going into battle with one of these great blades. I think it looks neat. And the armor actually is pretty good. If I oops, switch over to survival, you can see the archer armor is one armor piece short of being, you know, full. And I can actually go up to these skeletons and pretty much ignore them shooting me. In fact, I can even go up to a creeper. Hi, buddy. I get hurt, but... It's not very big. <laughs> so I think this armor might be a little tiny bit overpowered. Yeah, you know, just a tiny bit. But this is with the archer armor. The dragon armor you aren't even supposed to be able to get. She's mana creep, mana elemental. Get out of here. You're not in this mod. Get out of here. I actually need to eat. Alright, so the dragon armor. Right now you can't actually get it, but you can craft it if you have the ingots. Oh, maybe you can get the ingots, I don't know. It says you can on the forum. Alright, the dragon armor is super powerful. And the only thing that I've been able to take damage from wearing it is fall damage. I'll even go into a little suicide booth I made. Occupied. And still absolutely no damage whatsoever. Armor sure takes damage though. But after discovering that it didn't really take any damage, I decided to test it a little bit further. And have made a small chamber. Now, I do have to say Darkstone is definitely not indestructible. In fact, I think it might be a little bit less resistant 
to TNT than normal stone. But we're going to go ahead, load this thing up with TNT, and we'll see if I can survive. Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, switch over to regular and... Yeah, I didn't take any damage from the explosion, but fall damage had practically killed me. <laughs> so, that is Agecraft so far. I will probably do an update video on it when it gets more content. As always, link can be found in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next week with another Mod Monday. Take care and goodbye.